What is going on guys? Matter Live here. Welcome to another um, tech tutorial video. I haven't done in one in a while, so just make sure I'm recording here. So right now I'm going to show you how to install Ford Free Portable or how to get portable on PHP BB3. Uh, just to prove it, this is PHP BB, powered by PHP BB. This is one of the forms I'm working on. Um, on Team PokeTubers, one of my own networks I'm wor I'm doing on YouTube now. So right now, um, we got the portable with the ads on the side, the top posts, birthdays, newest users, stuff like that. And you can edit them and stuff and make it look what your forms want to look like. Now, I installed a test form on my website, matterlot.com for such test form. You can go to it if you want to. I'll leave it up. Um, is that... Uh, it, your wet, your forms will look plain and stuff, and it'll just show multiple categories and posts. That's all it shows. But this one, it looks like a V bulletin, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what V bulletin is. But right now, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you need to download two files to do this. Um, both of the files will be in link in the description. So. Um, if you don't know what these files call, these files are called uh, AutoMod. Now, this AutoMod is a file is a, is a program you install into your um, into your um, PHP BB uh, forms. So it helps you to install mods easier, so you don't have to worry about anything else. Other thing you need to do is install and is to download. Ford, Ford Free, which is a portable. This is what I'm using for Team PokeTubers. Um, I would use PHP uh, BB Portable, but it wouldn't work for me on the latest forms. But this will, even though it's a bit outdated, but it works perfectly fine. So pretty much uh, I have to remember where you download oh it's right here okay there's a download folder so you click on that little download folder you go to this link yes it is in German but it's also in English too so you click on the download file and you should be able to download it and show in folders it should be right here so right now we're gonna leave it right there and now we need to download the auto mod so AutoMod is right there. So we got these two files. So after that, we can go to FileZilla. So that's the program you use. If you don't use FileZilla, um, I recommend using FileZilla for your, um, what's it called, for your, No, I recommend opening up File Manager on your web hosting if you don't want to use files. So this also works as um, uh, what's it called? It also works um, also works as your hosting provider. So it's also the same. Um, if I have to connect to my web hosting, sorry, I'm, I'm not making any sense. I'm trying to make sense here, but because I haven't done a tutorial video in a while, so it's the folder is in my test folder. So right now you need extract auto mod onto your um, downloads folder which I'm going to do right now so right now we got the auto mod folder now you go to root after you go to root you copy all of this and drag it into the root of your uh, PHP BB file so I'll pretty much pause this when this when this is done um, put it uploading to my hosting Okay, it is done. So after that, you should be able to go back into your um, forms. So right now, um, it sometimes your folder will be called phpbb, um, your website for slash phpbb or for slash forms or whatever you call it. Now, after that, type in for slash install. You click if it works out. So right now you have to log into your administrator um, software uh, panel. I mean, you just log into it, turn to it, and it takes you to the Automon install file. Um, well, file bleh, part of the website. So you click on yes and click on submit, and you click on install. Yes, be sure to install Automod. 
Warning, new permission has been set, has been done. Please check your permission settings if you, if you don't like them. So after that, you have to go back and rename the um, install to install two, or just remove it right away because you really, really don't need it. So after that, you should be able to go back in your forms. They still look the same. So you go back to your administrator panel and you log in again. You go back and you'll see there's a new tab called Auto Mod. Now after that, you go to Auto Mod and click on Choose File. Now after when you go Choose File, click on the Board 3 Portal um, 201.zip, click Open. After click open, click on upload, and it should be able to upload the file. You click on return to auto mod, and you'll get this uninstall mods. You click on install. Right now, I'm using um, 3.0.12, but this will also work for 0.12, even though it says it's mostly targeted on 0.11. So you click on install. And it'll just give you a little warning, but anyways, um, Team Poketubers forms is using 12 too. Uh, you click on install. Uh, you click on yes, you like to install. Uh, you click on this mod require installation finish. You're clicking here, so it takes you to the another installation page, and you click on submit, and you click on yes, and then you get this. Now, there's a catch. Now, if you go back to your forms, you'll see there will be a lot of errors. Um, oh wait, I need a, I need to refresh this. Okay, here's the install file. You delete it again, because AutoMod puts an installation folder on your website. You refresh it, and your website will load a bit slow for some reason. But, if you're using a different, I mean, different template, everything will go wrong. There's a way to fix it. As in I'm using uh, my website, Team PokeTubers, not everything loaded correctly. There is a way to do it. If you're using a different part of, of um, your template or a different template, you go to um styles now whatever theme you're using and you go back to your um go back to the um downloads folder you download for board three portable you click on extract after you click on extract here get the board portal free portal and you go to root style and depending what style you are, it doesn't matter which theme you're using, just click on any of them and go to template and go to portable and and go to any existing theme. Well, let's say I am going to my um, Team PokeTubers website right here and I'm going to forms. Now, there is a um, some files that you will not see from Team PokeTubers because I'm testing out some mods on there. Go to Style. Now, I'm using Pokemon BB. Now, if you go to Template, there won't be a file called Portal. It's going to be all gone. If your theme doesn't have Portal, go to the um, Pro Silver, um, Pro Silver uh, template and drag Portal in there. After that, you go to themes and you go back um, to your file go back to uh, themes and drag the image folder and a portal CSS and after that you have your own portal um, your own portal what's it called your own portal form site and to edit it, you go to the administrator control panel, you go to mods, and after portal, um, modulus, whatever it's called, you can customize it now.
and it's very easy to customize it you just have to learn how to use it so that's how you install um, board free portable on your forms and that's how you make your website look like this so you can test it out on teampoketubers.com if you want to it's right here it's all in the link in the description my name is Matt Alive and this is my very first tech video in a long time thank you very much for watching